Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan, for episode 10, with me, Mr. Silly P. A little bit of time has passed since I last saw you, uh, pretty much all the way through December and we're now into January 2. Um, it has snowed on and off, as you can see by the tyres on the pickup, <laughs> we've got quite deep snow. Although the roads are still clear, so I haven't had to do any snow clearing, it needs to. However, it is freezing cold. My silo home is it's a great idea, it's nicely insulated, but it's still colder than anything I've experienced uh, if we go and check the weather currently minus 23 and that's degrees centigrade um I think yeah I was saying about when we went up to um the Lake District for the wedding in December um it was minus nine on the way up and I think that's one of the coldest temperatures I've experienced so yeah minus 23 no wonder I'm feeling a little bit nippy we're showing snow <laughs> February 1, February 2, and March 1. So, uh, yeah, so I have a plan for today. As you can see, I've got a load of fish that needs to be delivered. I'm going to take all of that. Uh, I've been keeping up with, the, keeping topping this up, and the mineral feed production has been going great. Uh, I think I was up to about 8,000 litres has been produced. What am I going to be doing today? Well, a little bit of forestry. When I say a little bit, I really do mean a little bit. Uh, we're going to be, hopefully, sorting out a little heating plant for the farm not a massive biomass facility just a small heating plant um, that should be able to heat the buildings heat the silo and that will be powered by wood chips so i'm going to get i was going to get a stationary wood chip but then i thought actually you know what one i haven't used for quite a while and there are a few different options available it's the old um yen's oh was it seven something or other in it uh i've blanked the BA 725D, that big, you know, that was kind of the, the staple, the go-to, and I'm, I'm too busy talking, you'll see when I get into the pickup, look, I am wrapped up, woolly hat, big thick coat, no shorts and t-shirts for me today, I keep going out across the field, but I shouldn't do it, I should go through the yard, you'll see now, look, <laughs> the depth of the snow, it's a little bit mad, but also very cool. Still no contracts available. What I did do, um, I got, um, you know, the, the um, rock picking jobs I've been doing for, um, I'll say, for the county, for the Chamber of Commerce. Field 31, which is the one that's around the back over there, I grabbed um, the rock picker and started to do that thinking that doing the rock picking would remove the snow but it doesn't <laughs> it does do the rock picking but i couldn't see where i'd been as you can see here we've lost the part i suppose what i should really be doing has been doing a bit of snow clearing here at least at the farm so i can see where my track is or i'm going well it doesn't really matter i suppose but i'm going to end up driving all over my fields anyway off to sell the fish then i'll bring the trailer back then we'll whiz down to the store we'll pick up the um i always said gens but i suppose it's the gens, isn't it? the, the gens. 725D, you'll see the bump down now once we get out of the thick snow here, look, look at that, that's craziness, although once the snow stops, I'm actually still at minus 23, the covers were on the uh, open gardens, but um, and they had right, thick snow on top of those as well, uh, yeah, so, blimey, what a palaver. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, like, most of the roads... So it's just my road that's not cleared. These have all been done. Maybe the farmer's done them themselves. So I haven't had to worry too much about doing anything like that. A lot of people suggested me using the... Um, is it the TLX Winter Wolf? But as you can see, there's there's not really any need for it. I could, I could pay for it and I could get a snow plough and stuff but really if I'm only clearing a bit of snow at my farm it doesn't seem a lot of point it has been mentioned as well when I, in the last episode when I did my um, 
my sort of bit of help, my good deed for the day, helping move the stuff off the uh, lorry that had gone into the ditch. Um, people were asking why I didn't use the new rope mod, uh, sort of, and there's the winches as well. I could, I did think about using the winches, sticking a log onto the trailer, strapping it down, then winching it out. I could have done that. Um, the rope mod, I've had a bit of a fiddle around with it. Um, not, it's not that it's complicated. It, yeah, I, I, I didn't use it. I, 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 my plan was to do what I did, um, but and as I've said many, many times before, there are so many different ways you can do all of these different things. It's nice actually to be able to drive along and not be honking down with snow, but I'm sure it will come pretty quickly. Um, as far as the little heating plant goes, I'm going to get the heating plant's not that cheap. Further down the line, what I'm thinking of doing when we get into the nicer weather, I want to, depending on how we go contract wise, how much money we've got, I want to get a field or one of my fields and I want to put um, poplars in. I want to do um, wood chipping from poplars because there's not a lot of forestry to be done. It's not like a lot of the maps I've been on recently where I've had a load of forestry to do. There are trees to cut down but most of them are the finicky awkward ones that aren't particularly great for it. I have got four pallets of cotton that need to be taken as well but I'm going to wait until I've got a bit more and I'll take those as well. Um, so yeah there's not a lot of forestry so if I, if I do some poplars I can do some wood chip. Um, I've done wood chip pellets loads of times before and made really good money on Griffin, Indiana doing that. I did them on Western Wilds and did alright with that. So again I'm thinking, yeah, we'll go a little bit different. So I'm going to start off with a small heating plant that I might, might, go larger. So start off as a test. It's alright. There's a little test on my farm, and then maybe if we can get a, a plot, we could put a larger biomass heating plant on, and then we can wood chip poplar. And yeah, it's, it's just ideas at the moment. I'm just thinking now, now knowing quite how cold it gets, how much snow it gets here. Oh, um, it might not be a bad idea, and it'd be something that would help out the entire community if we go for a bigger biomass heating plant. Oh no, okay. Just ideas. So I'm gonna take the trailer back. I will see you either down at the store or back at the farm. Maybe back at the farm. We'll get the wood chipper. I might have a go with the axe as well. I haven't really tried that. Um I do like a, a lightsaber. <laughs> just heat myself up one of those just actually buy a lightsaber and just stand next to that. Um but the beauty of chopping wood, I can use a chainsaw of course I can. I might I might do that. We'll give the um axe a go. Like they always say, chopping firewood or producing firewood warms you up twice when you're cutting it down and when you burn it. So as I'm driving back with this, I suddenly realised I might I haven't got any storage for wood chips because I'm pretty sure that the um, 
little heating plant. It's only something like five thousand litres. It's, it's like I say, it's only supposed to be a small one that works at on like a, a, a farm. That could be a problem, couldn't it? Um, I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna take out a couple of trees over this way. I think. So what we can do. to disconnect it so I'm pretty sure if it's the same as it always used to be there we go so I'm going to knock down the cruise control because that always used to be a bit of a problem uh, start the engine there we go pipe out flight center we have. Now that, to be fair, that's only going to go into my small trailer. Actually, the Land Rover's on that. It's been that over. That's been running fine. Both the pickup and the Land Rover in this deep snow I haven't had any problems with at all. Uh, okay, don't need that one just yet. That should be good to go then. Brilliant. Now, the other thing I need to do is I've only got a jet wash. So, I think it's under chainsaws. Yeah, should we try the axe? It's no good. Then we'll get um <laughs> Yeah, we can always get a chainsaw if we need to, can't we? I'm not like I say, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. So what I need to do is um I'll walk over, let's move that out of the way for a minute. I suppose what I could do, I could throw logs in the back of the pickup, but if I just keep moving the wood chipper where I need it, nothing we need to do then is put in the the, um, the heating plant. I'm going to put the heating plant right next to the silo house, so then we can generate heat for the silo house. I'm thinking as we move into next year, depending money-wise, I think, again, seeing how harsh the winter is, or has been, I think next year we'll build a proper house. A wood construction, nice R rating, nice insulated walls <laughs> rather than just cor corrugated metal and then we'll be fine and then we can get, run heat out to the uh, shed workshop and stuff as well that's i think what we're going to do so i'm, I'm going to have it put in here so what i'll do is while i'm off i'll go and get the land rover we'll start chopping down the wood we'll get the company in we'll get them to install it hopefully just yeah it's all there i guess so i'm going to grab the land rover that's just over here with the parker gravity wagon I'm just wondering whether the John Deere as well looked like it needs to be dug out. <laughs> oh dear. It's brilliant. I love it. We had a little bit of snow um, on Ballam Road, but I cleared it with the um, salt and then the, the snow blower and stuff. But then within the what, 24 hours, it had gone. This is nuts. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, it might it might need a bit of digging out, or we might just leave it there until the snow clears. Actually, I'm going to need it because I'm going to need to. Uh, got four cotton cotton bales. I will have more. So let's see if we can get this out. Like I say, it's been it's been running fine. I'm glad I didn't get rid of it because I really, I just love it. I think it's brilliant. All of the Land Rovers that are available, I mean, there are some cracking vehicles out there now, most of which I've got or have used. The Lizard XJ, love that. I think it's absolutely brilliant. That new pickup that I, that I got from Larry, love it. I think it's just some really, really cool stuff out there. So, what we'll do. If I turn around and come in from the other side. Whoa. Yeah, we're not sliding at all. <laughs> Says straight away, oh no. Turn too tight. 
that wasn't necessarily the snow, this gravity wagon does that on his skull. <laughs> he says trying to save face. Pull that. I should have left that out, shouldn't I? Should have left that out. There we go, would have been perfect if I left it out. That should work. So, I guess now let's try. We'll try it on a, let's say, a, a regular tree. What? Why not? It's on my land, isn't it? I'm sure it's on my land. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I bought it over here because I thought it was on my land. Get off my land. Let's cut that either. Right, so I'm going to have to move all that over. I thought these were my land, but they're not. This should be. There we go, that's better. Oh, okay. Gonna fall over or something? Or... Did that just get rid of the? Tr That's not helpful. Why is this not? There we go. <laughs> oh, now I've lost it in the snow. <laughs> Can I do the same here? I'm going to be able to find another bit. I don't know how much of this is going to actually even take. Right, let's throw that on. I need to move all this over. That's annoying. This was always the downside of this particular one. Very helpful. Why is it just bouncing that back out again? Things got issues, man. Come on. It's all going well so far, and now I've lost in the snow. <laughs> the snow's too deep to do logging. What if I turn it that way? There we go. Huge amount of wood chips. <laughs> How much do we get off that? 169 litres. We're rocking and rolling. Right. So if we find that other bit. I can't even find the tree now. Where's the tree gone? Oh no. It's not going particularly well. What I need is a flamethrower. I need something I can just melt the snow away from around it. Let's just take down one of these and see if this works any better. Sharp. That's seriously sharp. Okay. 
Okay. Right, give me a minute. I'll move all this over. We'll try this again. Let's try that again, shall we? Plus, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with regard to, um... That's not too heavy, surely. Store in excess, because I'm pretty sure... been this bad before and now I've lost another bit. I'm gonna find all this lumber when the snow <laughs> when the snow melts and I come to do my my grass work on my fields. I'm gonna find all these little bits of wood all over the place, aren't I? That's so annoying. No. Hello pick that up. It's not gonna do anything with these is it? Of all the ones I've used, it's the worst. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Three litres, well done. Not quite going to flat. <laughs> Hallelujah! Up over a thousand. That'll keep me warm for at least the next five minutes. Can I get a stamp out of that? Fight that. I need to get at least 5,000 litres somehow. I didn't want to take out... I was I was intend, intending to just take out all of these ones. Um, because with it being so cold and the wind blowing across and stuff, I want to keep... Like on the Welker Farms... Or like on the Welker Farms. On Welker Farms, they've got their kind of shield of trees around the farm because it's flat and open and it gets really cold. I was hoping to try and keep the same thing, but... Turns out these ones are actually really thin and spindly and don't seem to want to know either. I'm really scratching my head now to um, work out how to do this. I might take that one. I need ones with thick trunks because it doesn't seem to want to take any of the spindly bits. Which is understandable, I suppose. See, shall we? Right. Yep, let's do another two litres. 
Yes, it works. Any more? Any more for any more? Oh yeah, huge bit there. Remember what I said at the start that I do on every map? It's finding that thing. That thing that can make you money. On a lot of maps, you can often fall back on lumber. You can fall back on a bit of forestry. And having come off of maps like Western Wilds and Silver Run, which were forestry, I mean, initially Western Wilds, but Silver Run forestry, to be on a map where you haven't really got a lot to do, it's, it's quite a different way of looking at things, you know? Is there anything to pick up? Oh, hang on. What have we got? Oh, yes. So, I'm going to see you in a little while, hopefully. <laughs> when I've got at least 5,000 litres. Longer term, this will work out better. Come on. Oh, it took my head off. It'll work out better when, um, when and if we do poplars. Or I could plant trees. Um, but I think poplars might be a better idea. We'll get those in the ground and we'll get a load of wood chip and then we can run this or another one. But I just want to run this initially. I'm going to say initially. I don't know if we're going to make any money. It'll produce electricity, but I, I don't know the heat from burning. And then... I don't know anymore. Everything's so confusing. Why did I duck out the way then? I actually ducked out the way. <laughs> oh. It's 11.46 and never in the history of mankind has so much effort been put in for so little reward. <laughs> I've taken down, I don't know, four trees, four or five, and I've literally just, just got over 5,000 litres. <laughs> so... Yeah, 5,048. So what I was thinking while I was doing that was contacting the sawmill. Ask if the sawmill have got any um, offcuts. Oh, I must have just jumped, bumped over something there. Honestly, I can't wait for the snow to melt. We find how much stuff is laying all over the place. Um, whether they've got any offcuts that we can buy. Because they must have stuff down there. Whether it's um, the one metre lengths, twos, I don't know, thin stuff, whatever. So what we'll do, we'll go down to the sawmill. I've run them already. Um, they said to come down, they'll see what they've got. And we can grab some more. Now, obviously, I want to do that more because I've leased the um, wood chipper. And it would be mad. And like I say, I'm just thinking, this is probably going to fill this up, isn't it? Then what do I do with all the spare wood chips? But then I have leased that wood chipper. I don't want to waste it. Oh, this is our new. This is <laughs> this is our heating plant. Our heating plant's in. It has been installed. Hi, Um And where are you? Yeah, wood chips at the bottom. So wood chips in. Uh, electricity we get paid for, and obviously we'll get the heat from it. So that's all good. So what I've got to do now? I'm sure it's only five thousand it takes. If it takes more, that's brilliant. Why did I just do that? There we go. Oops, missed. Never mind. If it takes more, I'm very happy. But I don't think it does. And then that can just chug away. That will that'll keep the heating going. Um, like I said, it's not going to make us mega money. It will make a bit of money, probably. <laughs> I don't know, I hope. Can you have a little bit left over? Right. 48 litres left over from that. But where do I put it? Because I did think about this facility here 
When I've been going over and getting corn and soybean from our open gardens, I've been using them to top up the fish farm. Anything spare has been coming over here for the mineral feed. I'm, I haven't shown you this since we did it, but I'm waiting to do landscape until the snow's cleared because that would just make life a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, our mineral feed. We come over this side, so we've got 10,000 litres of mineral feed. Uh, we've still got lime in there that we put in. We've got just a little bit of soybean. We've got a little bit of stones left over. And I've been putting the corn in here as well. I've been storing the corn in here. I think I can take it back out again. So it almost works like a silo. But also, if we do end up going down the route of doing pig food here, I've got corn already in here. But I can if I want to. I know I've got a lot of seed. <laughs> that, that has been identified, the, the problem with that. And I want to thank... Um, Heavy Metal Gaming for that. I uh, went away and did a little bit of research, took the list of mods I'm using and, and whittled it down. I think it's the palette add-on mod by DD Mod Passion that's causing that problem, I think. Um, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not too bothered because I'm kind of working out a way around it and I can still pay for stuff as I use it and that kind of thing. It's not like I'm taking load after load after load after load and selling it all, which I could have done, but I'm not. So I can do seed here with a one-to-one -one ratio if I want to, so I could bring any spare corn. I mean, I might run some anyway. As it's chugging away and I'm storing corn up, I've got nearly 10,000 litres of corn in here. The next load I could run some seed through, so I'm building up seed here as well. Um, I know that kind of renders that production, not pointless, but that I bought down there. But yes, there's nowhere for wood chip. Do the silo? I don't know if the silos take wood chip, do they? I'm not sure if these do. Or they're just crops. They're not multi fruits, are they? So I'm wondering whether or not that's for. Oh, hang on. Does. No, that's just. I've got the forage one. Does that take wood chips? I don't know. I can't remember. Bear with me a second. I'm going to double check that. I can't tell. Uh, what I will do, let's just, well, I suppose the easiest thing to do is just drive this over. If I get the, the thing, up, I can store any spare in there. So I might as well. We'll whiz down to the, the sawmill. And we're going to whiz down in the, um, the pickup. And we'll sling a load of logs in the back. I could take a trailer down. I suppose I could sling a load in this, but I can't get my cow again. Um, please tell me this takes more chips. No. <laughs> oh, okay. So I need wood chip storage then. More expense, but at least I've got it then. No, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. It's just turning too tightly, but does it? Okay, wood chip storage then. Well, like, what I'm going to do, I'll sort that out probably for next time what I will do then we'll put this back over by the wood chipper I'm always down with the pickup grab a load of logs like I say I've leased that wood chipper and since I've got it I might as well run a load through it it just makes sense rather than giving it back and then getting it again later or getting a different one I, I have to say it's not operating as well as, as other ones I've used have That's it is what it is. So, pick up. I'll see you down the sawmill. Let's see what they've got. I'll load up the bed of this. Actually, you know what I need to do as well. I'll see you down there in a minute. I need to clean this. It's absolutely filthy. Into town, and I think where are we? This one here. To the sawmill. Let's see what they've got. I don't know what they're going to charge me. Um, at the end of the day, I suppose it's off cut. Some of the stuff might be big enough to go in through the mill, but there we go. There's a bit here. Yeah, there's all different lengths as well. So let's go for. I reckon. I don't know. Small stuff or anything, small stuff, as long as I can carry it. Let's open the boot. Boot, trunk, tailgate. <laughs> can tell I'm English, can't you? Uh, so we've got. 
No. Just trying to think what lengths are these then? They're bigger than one. Twos? Two and a halfs? Four, fours, fives? Oh, hang on. My info was off. What does that say? Oh, they're fours. Fives. Although, even though they're fours, yeah, we can still pick some of them up. The thinner ones, the bigger ones, we won't be able to. These are two and a halfs. And these are 1.3, 1.3, 1.2, got some stump off cuts, 1.2, okay. So, do I go for the chunkier stuff, or do I go for some of this, or do I go for a bit of everything? Um, doesn't really matter, I suppose. Can I lift any of those? Okay, right, let's put some of those in. It's not going to be too long, four metres. I might have to leave the bed open. Isn't it weird? On the ground it doesn't look too long, and then you go to your, your truck bed, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, actually that is that is quite long. Hmm, OK. We won't get many of those on. And I don't know how the wood chip is going to react to these either, as we've already seen. Can be a fickle beast. Um, when do we get too big? Okay, that one's alright. One more of those, do we reckon? Nope, can't put that one. I suppose we could chop them, but nope. Nope. I don't know if that's a bit that's a bit too spindly. I think the wood chip is just gonna kick that back out again. Um right, let's stick some of these in. And we can put some of the other ones the other way, can't we? He says. Even those are quite long, aren't they? Oh. Look what I might do. Let's do what we've done before. The physics of logs can be quite handy. If I can rotate that that way and then that way and then push against these. I can push them all up against the uh, truck bed back. There we go. Hmm. Probably get some of these ones down the sides, maybe. We'll just get a whole load and then uh, sing it for the wood chipper. And I say, I'll, I'll sort out, there's got to be a storage solution out there somewhere. I know there were, I'm trying to think, oh, six ashes, wasn't it? I had by the we had wood chip storage, didn't we? Oh, do I put some more of these longer ones on? Go for some of the thicker ones. We'll load it right up. God, this reminds me of the early days of Western Wilds. When I was when I just started off with the pickup, that's all I had. So all my logging was done like this. Get that inside the roll bar. I've got another one that's fairly chunky in it. Let's go up on top. I'm curious to see how this is going to react. <laughs> strap that down, strap that down, strap that down. Right. I will sort out payment with the saw. There's plenty more here. We can come back and get a load more. We'll see what, the, what we get um, with this. Because I'm curious. Actually, I don't know.
Yeah, I don't, I'm, yeah, we'll see what we get from this load. I'm sure they'll do us a good deal. I'm sure they will. Couldn't have fitted this much in the back of the Land Rover. And then I could get a little trailer. I could have brought my other trailer over and I could have got way more on, but let's just do it with a pickup for the time being. So, back up and I will uh, run these through and we'll see what we get. It may be that we'll fill up our trailer. That's only a... Is it a 13? No, 15. 15.5, isn't it, our trailer? Something like that. That's not too badly stacked for me. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's like I took some time and effort over it. There you go. You are turning right. What are your predictions? What do we reckon we're going to get out of this literage wise? Based on the trees I cut down already, mind you, they weren't as thick as these, so... Do you reckon we filled the trailer? Over 15,000 litres? Maybe? And how many of these is the wood chipper going to catapult out and kill me with? <laughs> Most of them, I would say. Lights back on. Oops, hold on. So come on. I don't know why this thing is kicking out so much lumber. That, it, that really should be taking those through. Right, you live and learn. If you're thinking of using this one, something to be aware of. So this will hold... Is it 5,000 litres? It always used to hold 5,000 litres itself, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Come on, work. I hope if I stick another one through. Oh, there we go. How are we looking? Okay. Maybe we won't get close to that. Dear me. Hmm. Well, it's going through. And it will keep the... Uh, if I try this one up right anyway. It'll keep my little heating plant going, it'll keep me warm for a bit. Let's try some of these longer ones, shall we? Right. So, like I say, next episode, um, I'm not too sure. We're probably going to be into, I would say, February, if not March. Um, hopefully the snow will be behind us, but it is still saying we might get snow in March, we got to now. Yeah, not a huge amount. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see where we're at and we'll gauge it from there. I just want to get back round into contracting work again. 
So whether it be cultivating, fertilising, when we get in, around into March, we're going to be into planting season again. Hopefully my grass will have grown once the snow melts. Um, I'll be able to get my um, silage in work done because I was going to do silage bales to sell. Um, I'm thinking about maybe getting bale storage and how many bales we get off we'll sell some store some i don't know again i can do silage in my facility over there so i've got a few options um that i can play around with we'll see how we get on so anyway i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free please want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.